eminent domain is derived or taken from the Latin word eminence dominium, mean supreme ownership, from the writing of the Dutch jurist Hugo Grotius in the legal treatise De Jure Belli Passes in 1625. Eminent domain is the power owned by the government to take away the property of the private individual without his consent for the public use only. By the application of this doctrine, the government owned the power of taking away of the private property for the public interest only, such as acquiring land for railway, hospital, roads, school and colleges, and many more. The doctrine of eminent domain is based on two maxims. One, salus populi supreme lex esto, mean welfare of the people in legal notion. Two, necessita public measure est quam, mean Public interest is higher than the private or individual interest. One can find the conception of the doctrine of eminent domain firstly in the English law. Earlier the private property were acquired and compensation were not paid. The Fifth Amendment of the US Constitution in 1791 has used the word just compensation to in favor of the private entity whose land were acquired by the government. And further, in the 14th Amendment in 1868, due process of law was provided to the parties whose land were acquired for the fair compensation to meet the just compensation. Indian government had inherited the doctrine from the British colonial regime and flowed to the legal system and incorporated in the constitution and statutory law and practice. After the independence, the Jamindari system was abolished and the surplus land were distributed among the landless. Earlier, the right to property was the fundamental right. Later, it was converted to the constitutional right. Article 31, Clause 2 of the constitution deals with the acquisition of the private property by the government for the public purpose, which was replaced by the article 300a under it no person can be deprived of his property saved by the authority of law by the 44th constitutional amendment the application of acquisition of land by the government is done by the statutory law the acquisition act of 1894 and for the fair compensation and the procedure to be followed by the state government to legally validate the land acquisition for which the union government passed the, the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, rehabilitation and resettlement act of 2013. Based on this doctrine, some of the famous cases seen by the Indian judiciary. 1. State of West Bengal versus Union of India, 1963 Supreme Court. Basanti Bai versus State of Maharashtra, Supreme Court. 3. Project Director National Highway versus M. Hakim, Supreme Court, 2021.